What? Whoa, look at all those MTV Pro Boxes. What's going on guys? Windy City Bassin here. Hey, it's it's been a while. You know, I, I don't know when the last time I uploaded a video was, but I do know the last time that I filmed the video. And it's been almost two months since I picked up this camera, which is absolutely crazy. And it's not because I haven't wanted to, but there's just been a number of factors that have led me to this period where I have not been able to film. Work has been busy, the holidays coming up. I mean, there's been so much going on. It's gotten cold here in Illinois, which has made things even more difficult. Days are shorter. I can't go fishing anymore after work, or at least not during the daylight, which makes filming a little bit tricky. But I have been fishing. I have been fishing. Go check out my Instagram page. It's just Windy City Bassin, just like my YouTube name. And uh, you'll see, I'm uploading pictures because I am fishing. I just can't film very much. This is the first video where I'm, I'm getting back into the rhythm of things. I want to go out film today because I think this is going to be the last weekend of the year where we're going to be able to fish open water. But today, we're all about Mystery Tackle Box. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Did you see what's under my tree? I mean, this is exciting. I got, I got a bunch of Mystery Tackle Boxes here. I don't know where they came from. I'm picturing in my head KVD, that's Carl Von Dibble, dressed in a Santa suit, somehow breaking into my house last night and just dropping all these under the tree. Maybe that's what happened. I don't know. I, I, I thought, well, you know, we could go out and try to film a slam for the month of December. I already opened this box. I took a look what's inside here. But that's a, that's a little bit limiting. I mean, we are in December right now. It's December. So I've got something a little bit different. Follow me along here. So I brought up a bag that I've been keeping in my basement for a little while. And see, I've got this duffel bag full of a ton of stuff. And so the idea here is we're going to go out and we're going to throw baits that are in this bag. There are baits that I've gotten throughout the year from Mystery Tackle Box. And I mean, this bag is full. That's the kind of thing that Mystery Tackle Box can do for you. If you're trying to build a collection of lures and a very diverse collection of lures, it's a great way to do that for a pretty reasonable cost, especially if you were going to go buy these baits on their own. So I'm going to get rigged up here. I'm hoping we get on one good bite before these lakes freeze over. Follow me along. All right, fellas. So I want to bring this in the jig. We're going to start off at a brand new spot here I've never fished before. It's a big piece of equipment. <laughs> Smells a lot like cow poop. A lot like cow poop. Man. This is one of those days where I feel like we should be catching some. I wonder where these fish be at. That was a toad. And he was sitting in six inches of water. I like that the wind's picking up, but it's pushing water into this cove. See, we might, we might have to switch up jerk baits because I really do think the jerk bait bite is it. But this is a big jerk bait. This is a full size jerk bait. Typically I throw a Mega Bass Vision 110 Junior, which is probably about an inch and a half, two inches smaller. Being that the water is now freezing and it's so late in the year, I want to shrink the presentation a bit. This is going to be my last cast with the Strike Pro Jerk Bait. I am going to switch up to my normal Vision 110. Maybe I just need to slow down too. Maybe. There we go. That's a good fish. That's a good one. Oh, he hit it. Oh, this is a good fish. This is a good fish. I was just talking about switching up. And I just got an absolute toad. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, he's barely hooked. Wow, he's putting up a good fight too. Oh, barely hooked. One trouble. There's a four pounder. Oh my gosh. I knew that was a big fish. Look at that. I'm a Strike Pro. Okay. 
That is easily four pounds, if not five. Look at that one trouble. Just one trouble there. Okay. Alright. Sally, you're you're we're gonna let you go. That was about 50 casts in and finally got a bite. Whew, all right, man, that, that gets me going. That's why you come out here in the middle of winter for fish like that. Okay, it's only one fish. Man, I, mean, I, don't, I don't really even think I got another bite. Oh my God, I see this fish here. He's, there's two of them. Oh yeah, right here. What is that? Oh my goodness. It was a big bass. Holy crud. Honestly, it looks exactly like the fish I caught earlier. Maybe even bigger. I got one. This is not him. This is the one that was with him. Another drip bait fish. Okay, 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 bud. You are going to cause some problems. We got one right in front of this drain, but this was the smaller one. There was a much bigger fish with it, a much bigger fish. I mean, like a couple times the size. Whoa. That was somewhat promising. Oh my God, there he is. He's right here. Oh my gosh, he's huge. Oh, I see another bass right here. There's another one right there. Oh my God, he took it. He took it and I missed it. Is this the sweet spot? Is this where all the fish are? Right in front of this drain? I see a bluegill. No, that's a little, little bass. I got one. Another one. Man, you are pretty. Yeah, you are pretty. Problem is I'm gonna have some golfers coming through here any minute now. Oh my God, there he is. It's huge. I'm not even kidding. This is like a five or six pounder. I'm gonna let this one go over here, trying not to spook this other one. Nice fish. Okay, I gotta move. I got these guys coming. How many did I catch? Two, three, two there, two there. No, three there. No, two. Why can't I remember? my memory really that bad? I think I'm gonna put you on hold until these guys leave. All right guys, I'm back. Found a golf ball and I caught two more fish on this Vision 110 Junior. What I really want to do is start heading back towards that ditch. I think that's probably the last group of golfers coming through for a while, which is good. So what are we up to? We're up to five or six. Yeah, we got like, I think we got five fish, a four pounder, a couple two and a halfs, a couple one pounders. Oh shoot, there he goes again. Man, it's a huge fish. Man, we were just, oh, there's one right there. Whoa, dark bass. Look how black this thing is. Yeah, look how look how dark this one is. Fat little guy. Fat, fat little guy. Alright, so that's another one. Up shallow. Really dark fish. That's a pretty little guy. Oh geez. I was trying to make that as quiet a release as possible. And it was not. Oh, we do have some more golfers. We're gonna go back by the bridge, fish the jerk bait a little bit more. Overall, like some pretty good. Definitely took a while to get dialed in. That's got to be weeds. No, nope, that's weeds too. There we go. I got one. Feels pretty good too. Oh no, it's not pretty good at all. Oh, crappie. Look at this slab crappie. I don't catch crappie too often. How are you hooked? I don't even understand it. There we go. 
Crabby are cool. The little band in their eye. It's just neat. Oh, there he goes. Mm. No, weeds. It's very clear. You know, I'm catching fish and I'm catching weeds. Yeah, catching weeds is annoying, but that's clearly where these fish are. And they seem to be dialed in to the jerk bait. So we will not be changing that up. Man, I really haven't moved. I mean, I caught my first fish over there. I've caught a bunch over here, a bunch right here. All right, let's go, let's go back. We gave that fish a little bit of a break. I don't have long. These guys are coming. There we go, I got one. This feels like a good one. It is a pretty good one. Gosh, he's, he is hooked good. There we go. Oh, I broke off one of the hooks. All right, that's fine. Let's let him go. There we go. I got one. There we go. Another nice little pounder. I'm gonna have to wrap it up guys because I only brought one, right, one, one GoPro battery. There's a fish. Gotta be a fish. Yep. Little guy. This, this is a fish. Here we go. Another little guy. Another crappie. This is fun. Catching bass, small bass, big bass. And some beautiful black crappie. I'll catch those. Those are fun. And I wish I had brought another battery. That was so stupid of me. Guys, you could die at any minute. I just didn't think I was going to be here this long. Alright, we're going to go. It's a good little lake. Good dinner? A few, yeah. Alright guys. So for those of you who watch my channel somewhat frequently, you'll recognize this lake. Or these lakes. I came out here a lot this spring. But I really haven't come back much lately. weeds let's throw this fluke for a minute here i had one i had him There we go. Got one. There we go. Another one on a mystery tackle box bait here. She's nice. Wow. Is this fish cold? Holy crud. She's like shivering. Like seriously, she's shaking. What's wrong, bud? Let's get her back. Gosh. That is a cold fish. Fat though. Very, very healthy. There we go. Alright, so super easy rig here. This is a, I don't even remember what it's called. A bruiser baits fluke. Great for cold water, spring and fall. I've just got in a 3 out round bend. It could not get simpler than that. Alright, let's move. Oh, that's sad. It's a bass. A largey, or dead largey. I have a feeling that I'll be back, back here, in probably less than a month. In less than a month, I think this will all be frozen, and we'll do some ice, uh, ice fishing videos here. Really, guys, it's been a pretty good day. So we've caught, I don't know, 15 fish, something like that. I think I got one. I got one. I got one. Man, he's fighting pretty good. Oh, you 
I just got splashed in the eye with pure mud. Look at that. Glasses. Mud. Oh man, that went right in my eye. This may be my last video. I might as well say goodbye to my health. I'm about to die. I was gonna catch some crazy disease from this terrible nasty lake water. That's a healthy fish. I mean that's probably he's short. He's really stubby. But that's probably a good pound and a half. I mean look at those red lips. Those crushers are super super sharp. Buddy. Dude. 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 There you go. I already feels like it's like dying. You got a fish? I got a fish. I thought that felt a little spongy. It's a little guy. Here's another one on the jerk bit. Man, Vision 110 is just coming in clutch. And hey, I even hooked him on the bad treble. That treble in the middle is missing one of the hooks. Little guy. Well, I'm sorry, bud. I didn't mean to make you do a, a belly flop there. It's just been a jerkbait kind of day, and I get, I'm gonna guess that tomorrow is gonna be a jerkbait kind of day too. Man, that temperature has dropped like crazy. Well, guys, we're heading back. It's been a good day for December. I cannot complain about catching however many fish we caught today. I don't even know. A bunch in cold, cold, cold Illinois waters. Overall, guys, very good day. I'm gonna be sad to see the open water go, but I am, I am a little excited for ice fishing season. I'm not very good at ice fishing. I'm gonna use this year to improve. I just wanna get better. I need to get better at tip-ups. I need to get better at jigging. I need to get better at finding fish. Lots and lots and lots of grass. Just FYI. You know, fishing is great because of fishing, but look at this sunset here. Off the water. That's just, that's awesome. <laughs>